I'm the president of the Southern India Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Sikhi. On behalf of Sikhi, we would like to extend a warm welcome to our guest today, Tan Sri Tato, Dr. R. Palan. We would also like to extend a very warm welcome to each one of you for taking the time to join us this evening. Before I continue with my address, I would uh, like to share with you two important points, which I feel is uh, something that each one of us have to be paying attention to. Both are concerning the pandemic. Of course, I had a chance to exchange a few words with uh, Dr. Palin as well. The first one is certainly this pandemic has caused extreme havoc to each one of us across various walks of life. We certainly cannot let our guard down at least for another year. In this regard, we would like to highlight three requests to you, which is well known to each one of us. Number one is, whenever you're able to get the chance, please go ahead and vaccinate yourself at the earliest. Number two is, it's very important for us to continue to follow the SOPs, the standard operating procedures or the precautions. We cannot take things for, for granted. And thirdly, we have to do whatever we can to build in the required immunity within us. These three points are already well known to us. Certainly request each one of you to also ensure the same across your respective walks of life. The second very important aspect that I would like to talk to you about is that of our children. The pandemic has certainly also caused an impact on our children. Especially, there have been several children who have lost both parents across our country. According to the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, NCTCR, they had informed our Supreme Court on June 1st of this year that a total of 9,300 of our children have lost both parents or have been abandoned because of the pandemic. That's a huge number. Certainly, the way forward for these children is adoption. That provides a very good uh, mechanism for them to be able to be brought back to the mainstream. There's what is known as the Central Adoption Resource Authority or CARA or CARA, which is a statutory body under the Ministry of Women and Child Development. This body is responsible for overseeing adoptions across our country. We certainly have to make sure that awareness is uh, increased among people with regards to the correct adoption process. People should not be deceived by campaigns on social media that perhaps might not be true. However, COVID offense is only one part of the problem. Quite a lot of uh, attention has been lost, I would say, with regards to children, perhaps lacks of children beyond just COVID offense. Children who have no access to education are forced into labor, are malnourished, harassed in different ways, and so on. Siki would like to see what further steps can be taken, and we would like to be able to put forth appropriately to the government. At the end of the day, it's the government that plays a major role in terms of taking this forward. We look forward to hearing from those of you who are interested so that we can work together and do the needful. In the meantime, however, we as citizens should continue our watch to see what we can individually do to positively enable our children. I wanted to share these two important uh, thoughts with you. A few words about Sikhi. As most of you would be aware, Sikhi has completed 111 years of service to industry, government, and society. During this phenomenal time frame, we have had phenomenal guests come in and address us in their respective areas of expertise. Typically, our guests address us for about 20 to 25 minutes, and these addresses are restricted to the area of expertise of our guests. We, however, felt that our guests have much more to offer than just the area of expertise. That is how we came up with the concept of Siki 360 that will enable us to delve further into each one of our guests' life journey. We have so far had the honor of having eight eminent guests so, uh, within our series. Each of these guests have been well accomplished and have contributed tremendously to their respective societies. Per our old Tamil saying, Tere Kadalodi, Tiraviyam Tede, several of our Tamil people have traveled, traveled the seas and have well established our Tamil pride. We hence wanted to be able to reach out 
to our diaspora as part of our Sikhi 360 series and perhaps celebrate their achievements. Tan Sri Dato Dr. R. Palin has perhaps been one such person who has achieved tremendously over the decades. We are extremely glad to have him with us as our guest speaker for today's Sikhi 360 session Thank nine. You. Bhavani, can we have the next slide, please? As I was saying, Sikhi 360 is a new foray for Sikhi and it builds on the expertise of our seminars. Before I continue with the rest of my slide here, I'd like to draw your attention to the names and numbers of two of our executives listed at the bottom of this slide. Please take a note of it. And if any of you have a problem reconnecting during the course of this program, please reach out to our two executives and they'll be glad to assist you. Sikhi 360, we wanted to come up with a name that communicates a multidimensional perspective. And that is how we came up with this name. We oriented to be a lively discussion with our eminent guests, guests who are experts in their field and share with us an all -round, their all round path to excellence. We have a stringent qualification measure for inviting our guests. We look forward to having both our guests having more than four decades of contribution to both industry and society. While, while also being apolitical in nature. The format of the Siki 360 series is that we have five sections that uh, we speak with our guests about. We first start with our guests' expertise. Secondly, we talk about our guests' organization and their role within their organization. Third, we talk about our guests' career path. Fourth, we speak about our guests' inputs for the next generation. And finally, we speak about our guests' inputs for society. We certainly encourage you, the audience, to participate with us. Please feel free to share your thoughts on our online chat. And if you have any specific mm -hmm. questions to ask, please uh, do so online. And our Siki 360 team will be glad to moderate and uh, feed it to us so that we can have it uh, answered during the course of this program. We follow two guidelines as part of this uh, program. Number one is we like our guests to be at comfort at all times so that uh, we have the opportunity to be able to invite our guest again and our guest is willing to join us again after having spent the first uh, session with us. So we, exp we want our guests to be at comfort at all times. And secondly, we also want you, the audience, to gain out of this uh, participation. These are the two guidelines that we follow in each one of our Siki 360 programs. I'd now like to share a few words with you about Tansri Dato, Dr. R. Pa R. Palan. He was born in uh, Sivagangay district in uh, 1955, November of 1955. So his origins are from Tamil Nadu. He grew up in, in Malacca in Malaysia, and today he's based in Kuala Lumpur. He spent a good amount of time in the University of Madras. He, in 1974, he finished his BSc chemistry, and in 1979, he did his uh, MA medical and psychiatric social work. He then went on to do his MSc in psychology at the University of Leicester in the UK. He chose a very non-conventional route to study and specialize in human resources development. He then went on to get a PhD in education from the Federation University in Australia. Today, he's the pro-chancellor of the University of Cyberjaya, one of the top tier healthcare universities known to be. It has 6,000 students across five departments. It has two academic centers and six hospital teaching resource centers. He's also the, the chairman of SMRT Holdings, Barhad. This is an investment holding company and operates through, through, through three business segments, namely education, training, and technology, and engages in HR training and so on. Dr. Palin is also on the board of uh, University of Malaya. He recently was appointed as an advisor to the King of uh, Malaysia to advise on the pandemic. Dr. Palin manages the Palin Foundation, a charitable and educational nonprofit that provides fellowships and scholarships to the needy. He has been awarded two significant titles, the Darja, Kebasaran, Panglima, Setia, Makota, which is a PSM. It carries the Tansri title, as well as the DPMP award, which carries the Dato title. Two very significant uh, accomplishments that is given to people who have performed or contributed to Malaysian society significantly. Dr. Palin is a social entrepreneur, edu educator, world-class keynote speaker, and has authored over 15 books. He significantly strives 
to diligently promote Tamil, welfare of the Tamil diaspora as well. He has been one of the key speakers at Sikhi's Global Yadu More Conclave that we held October of last year. With these few words, I would again like to warmly welcome Dr. Palin to today's program. Dr. Palin, Vanakkam. 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 Thank you so much for inviting me, sir. I'm more than happy to share. Thank you, Dr. Palin. So getting into our uh, first section, which is your expertise. Your research interest has been in skills, gaps, technical, vocational, education and training and so on. How do we narrow this gap in today's environment? Where technology literally turns obsolete tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, World Economic Forum related the future of jobs report from the center of the new economy and society from Switzerland. They published a report. Avanga Kuduta or Pudia Purula Dara Arikane or and the Arike Lonong and the Solrangana. There are going to be new jobs that come out. And these new jobs are going to be a result of many, uh, of course, many new innovation. And there'll be a lot of jobs that will be lost. So, for example, uh, travel agency, the travel agency has become more or less obsolete in most countries because people will buy online tickets. And the whole idea is the entire distribution network on the, it has gone through or matram. So there are many jobs that's lost and there are new jobs that have come on. And or Tamil particular so long, a kutikalichi pata saria or so long. So when you take that, at the end of the day, there is a gain. So or negara laba melkarade, there are new jobs. But the problem is if somebody is a typist, and the Kanatla nan on the Patrakram Drasla, and there'll be typists and they are so fast. Our one the needy body, the judge will be reading out his judgment. They are the speed typists. I remember it because I used to learn semic ASDF, semicolon, IJK. And these were really fabulous. But after a point, there was no necessity for them because the job of a typist was gone. And, and you can take so many jobs like that. The stenographer is gone. The telex operator is gone. There are so many jobs that simply goes. In the very end, and the skills are lost. So the whole idea, the strategy is like what in the curriculum, these jobs will keep on getting lost and there'll be new jobs that keep on coming because of uh, uh, new technology uh, there is uh, new things that keep on coming and when that happens we need to keep on learning so they basically talk about two things one is reskilling and another is upskilling we just need to pick on new skills. And number two is we need to keep on adding new things. New things in the world of technology we learn so that we have got new skill sets. So the whole thing today, if you take this, this is the telephone and this entire telephone changes our life today. Now, Chennai la padikem bode. Or a telephone kadekar do kuli or a periya paada ruka. Erthi thoda erthi aluvatha naala lo or a telephone kadekar na or periya it was such a challenge. Then eighty four la they had something else. Aunga na sananga na they had something like a booth, an STD booth. Now the whole thing is gone. Everybody has come in. So that's the world of technology which has changed. So in order to do that, it's reskilling and upskilling. And while I'm moving on the country, when you're a sooner than that, if I'm a country, then of course we go obsolete. I hope I answered that question. Yes, thank you. Our uh, next uh, question is in two parts. The first part is what would you say is the most important skill an entrepreneur should have? And uh, the second part, we have a student uh, joining us. 
Ms. Sure. Srilaya. She is a first year triple E student at uh, SVC in Chennai. Srilaya, are you online? If so, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, good evening to everyone. I'm Srilaya Arti from Sri Venkateshwara College, Chennai. So, my question is what are the ingredients needed for creating your own rainbow? It's Sorry, uh, tips on creating your own rainbow. In the Putta, when I wrote this book, Creating Your Own Rainbow, I remembered what a rainbow is. And Mother Mother or Elena or Sirvanaga Park in the Buddha and the Vana Wilness or Tamil. When you see the rainbow, it's a beautiful combination of seven colors. So they call it as Vibhijio violet indigo blue you know and the seven colors is vibhijo and right after a rain a drop of rain uh, when a drop of uh, sunshine goes through a drop of rain it's reflected as a prism and you see the beautiful rainbow that's the whole logic of a rainbow yeah now why did i take that out into life because varkel eduthitinga na namakku vandu pala goals irukindrathu pala kurikol irukku onnu vandu we got spiritual goals. family goals. Number four, we will have some financial goals in terms of how much money we should save. So there are different types of goals. So my answer was that in life, you needed something like seven things, which was Vibhijiya, and that's what you needed. But primarily, when you talk about the rainbow, two key words. And uh, in Singapore, the great uh, Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew you always used to say, if only. If only, if only I had this, I would have done that. If only I had married a very rich lady, I would have been someone else. If only I had married a very rich lady, it would have been fantastic. Then my wife would always tell me, but you might not have been as lucky as me because I'm always listening to you. You know, So, you know, if only is what you call as a rainbow chaser. We are always chasing rainbows. But a rainbow creator is someone who says, I will go out and achieve this. That is Steve Jobs. Uh, that some people, let's say, that's GT and I do in Coimbatore. I want to do this. Oh, that's Karamuthu Tiara and Chetia who wanted to do something. I really want to do this. I want to go out there and achieve it. And rainbow creators are one. And that's the key thing. So to me, the skills of an entrepreneur is very straightforward. They must know what they want and go after that without giving up. Persistence is something very important for an entrepreneur. But of course, you need vision. So Steve Jobs had this vision. Uh, how can I get 1,000 songs into an iPad, iPod? So I managed to get 1,000 songs into an iPod and I can keep it in my pocket. Now, do people listen to 1,000 songs? I don't think so. But people want to have that desire. So today, you know, for example, uh, for my mother, I so, I used to write the letter word by word, craft it up in a very nice way so that she will get it. And then she will reply. And it takes about one week to go, one week to come. In the because my mother used a WhatsApp message, and I used a WhatsApp. And we are able to communicate every day. And we are able to see one another. The only question is, sometimes you have that difficulty. So creating your own rainbow is, for an entrepreneur, it's having that vision and the duran okay, and then going after it. And it's not about if only. Because to me, I think most people, if they say, I need capital. Capital But look, a lot of us didn't have capital. A lot of us didn't have uh, rich husbands or rich wives, but all that we had was a vision and a determination. I hope I answered your question, Sri Laya. It's not if only, 
It's always about achieving what you want going after your dreams. For uh, our audience uh, interest, Dr. Palin's mother is in her 90s and stays at uh, Sivanga district still. Uh, she uh, likes to remain there and not go to Malaysia. To make sure that she gets the sons and the daughters to visit her more than she travels out. Dr. Palin, when we, uh, our next uh, point is uh, uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, Malaysia, you know, the connect uh, it's been going on for maybe five, six decades or maybe even more than that. மலேசியாவில வந்து அதிகமாக வாழ்கின்ற இந்தியர்கள் நீங்க பார்த்தீர்கள் என்றால் இங்க வந்து தமிழர்கள் தான் அதிகமா இருக்கின்றார்கள் அவுட் ஆஃப் த த்ரீ மில்லியன் முப்பது லட்சம் மக்கள் தொகையில வந்து இந்தியன் பாப்புலேஷன்ல ஏறத்தால ஐ திங்க் வி உட் பி செவன்டி ஃபைவ் பர்சன்ட் எழுபத்தஞ்சு சதவீதம் ஏறத்தால ஒரு இருபது இருபத்தி ஐந்து லட்சம் தமிழர்கள் இங்க வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றார்கள் பல மட்டங்கள்ல வாழ்ந்துட்டு இருக்காங்க அண்ட் ஐ திங்க் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் திங் அது பாலமாக வந்து தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு மலேசிய தமிழர்களுக்கும் மற்றும் மலேசிய நாட்டிற்கும் பாலமாக அமைகின்றது என்னவென்றால் ஒன்று வந்து கலாச்சாரம் ஐ திங்க் இட்ஸ் கல்ச்சர் ஐ திங்க் தட் சம்திங் தட்ஸ் ரியலி ரியலி going very well i think kalacharam and and the edupadu romba adhigam and the kalacharam and i think we need to have more cultural exchanges innikku vandu neenga eduthikittinga na malaysia la indian nadu la padmashri pattam petra ramli ibrahim indra or malaysia nadu var amle avar dhaan bharatanatyam expert and kuchipudi expert so culture transcends race religion அது வந்து இந்திய தமிழா தமிழ்நாட்டில் வந்து இந்த கலாச்சாரத்திற்கான அதிகம் விருப்பம் இருப்பதனாலும் அதிகம் ஆதரவு இருப்பதனாலும் தட் ஷுட் பி ஒன் மூன்றாவது வந்து இட்ஸ் மொழி ஐ திங்க் லாங்குவேஜ் இஸ் அ வெரி பவர்ஃபுல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் நீங்கள் ஈழத்துக்கு போனீங்கன்னா அவங்க வந்து அவங்க பேசுகின்ற தமிழ் வந்து மிகவும் சுத்தமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய தமிழ் அவர்கள் கதைத்தார்கள் அப்படின்னு தான் சொல்லுவாங்க கதைச்சாங்கன்னு தான் சொல்லுவாங்க ரொம்ப அழகான தமிழ் தம் மலேசியாவிலையும் வந்து தமிழ் மீது ஒரு அதிக பற்று உள்ளது இங்கே வந்து தமிழ் பள்ளிகள் இன்றைக்கும் இருக்கின்றது தமிழ் பள்ளிகள் மலேசிய நாட்டு கல்வி அமைச்சால் அங்கீரிக்க பெற்ற கல்லூரிகள் ஒரு அதிகமான பற்று இருக்கின்றது நீங்க தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு போனீங்கன்னா கூட ஆங்கிலம் ஊடு உருவிடுச்சு தமிழ்ல நான் நிறைய தடவை வந்து நான் சொல்றது புத்தாண்டு வாழ்த்துக்கள்னு சொல்றது தமிழ்நாட்டில் இருக்கின்ற அன்பர்களுக்கு அவங்க பதிலளிக்கும் போது சொல்லுவாங்க ஹாப்பி நியூ இயர் தான் சொல்லுவாங்க so i always tell them that look let's i'm not saying we should not learn english or learn a mandarin or hindi but it's not uh, not a great idea to forget our roots so it's it's language and then of course i always think that cinema and uh, uh, arts i think it's something that's fantastic சமீபத்தில் ஒரு கல்லூரிக்கு போயிட்டு இருந்தேன் யூனிவர்சிட்டி மலையன்னு சொன்னீங்க ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி ஐந்தாம் ஆண்டு ஆரம்பிக்கப்பட்ட மலேசிய நாட்டில் மிகப்பெரிய கல்லூரி அரசாங்கத்தால் நிறுவப்பட்ட கல்லூரி அண்ட் ஸ்டில் கவர்மெண்ட் மேனேஜர்ஸ் இட் அண்ட் ஐ எம் ஆன் த போர்ட் அங்கே வந்து ஒரு தமிழ் சங்கம் இருக்கின்றது அந்த தமிழ் சங்கத்தில் ஒரு காலஞ்சென்ற பி பானுமதி பாட்டு ஒன்று இருந்தது அந்த பாட்டு நான் கேட்டுட்டு இருக்கும்போது அந்த பாட்டு வந்து அழகான பொண்ணு நான் அதற்கு ஏத்த கண்ணு தான் என்னிடத்தில் இருப்பதெல்லாம் தன்மானம் தான் அப்படின்னு பாடுவாங்க பாட்டு வந்து வை வதே பிளேயிங் திஸ் தென் ஐ ரியலைஸ் தட் இட்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் தன்மானம் எவ்வளவு முக்கியம்னு அதை எடுத்து காட்டுறதுக்கு அந்த பாட்டை எடுத்துட்டு போய் தே ஜஸ்ட் கம்யூனிகேட்டிங் எந்த விதத்துல அந்த கருத்தை வந்து நம்ம கம்யூனிகேட் பண்ண முடியுங்கிறதுக்கு அந்த பாட்டை எடுத்து அவங்க வந்து அன்னைக்கு they were playing that song so and the samudaya matram that social change can come through with such powerful messages and i think that's a lot of things in india 
uh, and particularly in Tamil Nadu, I think we need that exchange much more. And Sami Bagalamaga, I think there is an event called Rise run by a gentleman, a uh, uh, Jesuit priest called Father Jagat Gasper. Our one day he is bringing the exchange in terms of small business, in terms of culture, in terms of things. So I think that exchange has to go more, Arun. Very good. In fact, uh, keeping this in mind is why Siki has been working very closely with the government of Tamil Nadu, especially with this outreach program that we held last October. Uh, sure. This was a phenomenal program where we had about 4,500 people uh, joining. So certainly sure. your uh, address uh, there was uh, very, very useful. And look forward to your inputs as well, Dr. Palin, Thank so that you. we can increase Thank this you. engagement. Uh, Thank you. When you look at uh, Malaysian Indians, uh, today uh, a majority, they form a majority of the, of the professional workforce. But however, 40% of the Indians are still at the bottom rung of the income ladder. Why do you think this disparity exists? Uh, I just have to correct that perception because they just look at me and then they will say, oh, uh, Dr. Palin uh, uh, has studied very well. So I think there is a little bit of uh, uh, perception issue there. Ninga Vandu or Varalara Patigana or Yaratala or Nuranda Mundu Pinbu Poningana, you will know that uh, Tamil Nadu in the Malaysia when the Tamil Gulani were made, they came to work in plantations. Kerala in the Vandavanga, they came to work as Kangani Palakar Marivandanga. Punjab in the Vandavanga, they worked in the army and police. And Gujarat and North India in the Vandavanga, they came into business. And they came to work in government. But obviously, the mass of people migration was in plantations. So, when you opened up Manipal in India, Manipal Medical School, and in other places, the University of London, when they had an open course, they went and studied law or they went and studied uh, doc to be a doctor or an engineer. But if you see today, uh, let's say we are probably about 20, 25% of the doctor population, which is 40,000 people. But 40,000 people in a population of 30 million, the doctors are a very small number in terms. So we have a ratio of one is to 600, one doctor to 600 people. So the perception is a lot of us are professionals. But a lot of people, when they when industrialization took place, the estates were gone. <coughs> So, they were completely caught. But I didn't have the skills. So, I needed the skills. So, under 40% they are below the poverty line. But things are changing. Things are changing. Because, I told you, Tamil they have actually tried to convert it. So I think things are changing. And I think the only way to change it is education. And I think uh, we are very particular that we should never become a labor community. So we want to help. So I have many examples. And they will not be able to study because they have no money. But in Malaysia, we have got what is known as uh, the National Education Loan Scheme. And on the scheme, the fees are cut. So, we have given 100% scholarship. And we have to pay for the because when they become doctors, they have a small car, they buy a house, they look after the parents. So, I think education, Arun, 
is the way to actually just go forward. I think Tamil is saying that Kalvi is the one who 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 is the one It's about intergenerational mobility. Tanda iwal dah dah berada, makan orang ini nak kencing better, parent orang dah ada berada kencing better, and wal kat taro orang dah apri moneri tepoh de. And that's the whole idea, and that's what we are trying to do uh, in in Malaysia. Yeah. We now move on to the second section uh, where we talk about uh, organisation and role. The first point here, uh, I'm going to request Mr. Gopi Koteshwaran, who uh, who's chairing our entrepreneurship committee to uh, kindly uh, come online and uh, and ask us question mr gopi please go ahead yeah thank you um uh, thank you uh, uh dr arpal uh, thanks a lot for uh, sharing your thoughts one thank of the you. things that you've been advocating for every business um, has been that the business should have a cause or a purpose and um, you you stress a lot on importance of values in doing business Um, where do you think we are today in the business world? Uh, what is your take on um, uh, values in the business world today? Uh, you know, uh, we always say start with why, then what, and then how. So this is the famous book that Simon Sinek wrote. And Simon Sinek said, Mudalavdi Kelvi vandhi yen. Rindadu vandhi is yadarkku moonradu vandhi yappadi. So when you start with why, apna nama kuwanda nama kuwanda yeder ka yein in the in the yaabara ta kuwanda nama thodangi rukro. Is it because we want to employ people? Is it because you wanted to change the world? Is it because you wanted to make a difference in society? Adno deya adi thala kuwanda adal kuru kolga erikde. And the kolga irinda dinna, then I think it makes your business stronger because it's values based. I think, and values are very critical because nagarataruna and the kalathle sulluanga naane maaga nama vyavaram nadathano, or bhakti maay thod nama thodil nadathano abrin sulluanga. And I think this comes even Tamilatla dinenge nariya dengalla poninge na. This is a fundamental. foundation so and the cool guy even the, i think we need those values so if you take steve jobs steve jobs basically said i want to start apple computers to challenge the status quo because on the kind of learning editing and now i remember in 1981 when i finished my studies or pretty a computer in the in the major la party major girl code and it was 256 kb my ram on board and it used cost costed as 30000 ringgit which is about what you are talking about or nan de lech angel chero i recall and i can in the learning editing and now everything comes this is far more powerful you know so i think we want to know a reason why we are in business and then of course we need to have values otherwise it's impossible yeah thank you sir dr palan you say trust and loyalty is very important for an organization to grow ana if sure. uh, a company ning eduthinga na employees vandu continuously especially in the it field or company la indha innor company ku guthichittu irukranga so how do you make sure that uh, Uh, you build trust and loyalty when you have this kind of a situation at hand okay uh, trust to and ne uh, arun i know i have to be very careful i don't call you an name because i am older than you you reminded yes. me so many times <laughs> you always like yeah. anna and i feel very embarrassed when no, no, no problem anna no or maria diga da koopidren but i do know i acknowledge that i am uh, older ட்ரஸ்ட்ங்கிறது வந்து தமிழ்ல வந்து நம்ம வந்து ட்ரஸ்ட் அண்ட் லாயல்ட்டிங்கிறது வந்து வி டாக் அபவுட் நம்பிக்கை நாணயம் ஏன்னா ஒரு விசுவாசம் தீஸ் ஆர் த வேர்ட்ஸ் ஏன்னா சம்டைம்ஸ் வென் ஐ கோ இன் த கா ஐ ஐம் தே ஐம் ஸ்லீப்பிங் அண்ட் ஆப்வியஸ்லி மை டிரைவர் ஓட்டுறது வந்து he is taking care of me ayo driver thungiruvaro thungiruvaro na na mudichite vandena when i get to my place Uh, i'll be so exhausted and i will not be able to do what i'm supposed to do in enak vanda i trust my driver but oru thadava vande and the driver vande or accident aitana na adutha thadava thoongu nenikireengala 
ஒத்துக்க மாட்டீங்க ரொம்ப நாளுக்கு முன்னாடி ஐ ரிமெம்பர் திஸ் எங்க ஆயா வந்து சொல்லுவாங்க ஆயா மீன்ஸ் டு தோஸ் ஆஃப் யூ டோன்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த வேர்ல்ட் இட்ஸ் மை மதர்ஸ் மதர் அண்ட் அவங்க சொல்லுவாங்க தம்பி ஒரு தடவை தான் தம்பி ஒரே ஒரு தடவை தான் So the second time there is no more opportunity for people to trust you if you have screwed it up in the first time. And uh, I had a friend of mine, his name is Tan Sri Ranjit Singh. He was a chairman of the Securities Commission of Malaysia. Arna Solwari, trust comes by foot, but leaves by a Ferrari. It's very slow. But the moment you screw it up, they will just completely run away. So I think the whole idea of trust and loyalty is very important. People work for people. And I think it's very important. Uh, now, if somebody gets uh, 5,000 rupees more, obviously that young kid is going to go away to another company. Because a guy does not feel... that i am trusted i am part of the team when someone is part of the team and someone is part of that uh, being um, let's say that family then the guy the person is going to stay but going back why are we in business and what are the values that drive the business if i like the values and if i Uh, feel trusted i will stay but otherwise at 5000 uh, rupees vandu enak uh, maybe i can pay another installment and i will go there yeah and that's what it is uh, arun oh uh, there has been a stanford study that yeah. uh, has stated that majority of malaysia's economy is based on production and manufacturing <laughs> instead of uh, anything on r and d this uh, definitely makes it a magnet for uh, semi skilled labor yeah don't you think r&d would be a good uh, area of collaboration between tamil nadu and and malaysia especially when you look at tamil nadu's strengths in uh, a variety of industries whether it is automotive or textiles or leather we can certainly go after increased partnerships between malaysia and tamil nadu especially oriented towards uh, research and development Yeah, yeah, definitely. Viper on the Nerea Irikar there, and I think there are plenty of opportunities for R and D. But it's also important to realize that Malaysia is a small country. It's a country of about 30 million people. The economy is big. It's about 40% GDP manufacturing, 40% is uh, services, and 20% is other things. uh so i think if there is tremendous focus i i think we could do it last time when malaysia was producing its own cars like uh, proton and paradu are they still i know tvs used to come here to manufacture brick pads and things like that but there is competition korea is there taiwan is there china is there so i think if we keep the focus i'm sure we could do it i think in terms of it we could do it uh but it we can't depend on low cost we have to be very competitive namma vanda and the potti elukkalam eedu kodukkakoodiya oru soolnila irundhuchina and vaippugal vanda neraiya irukkirathu because malaysia is trying to move out of the middle income trap and inge vanda most of the people the middle income and they want to move up to become a high income country uh sambalangal ellam vandu மேலும் மேலும் உயர வேண்டும் நினைக்கிறாங்க தே வாண்ட் டு பி லைக் த யூகே ஓர் ஜெர்மனி ஓர் த யூஎஸ் ஸோ இந்த திறமை வந்து திறன் இதெல்லாம் வந்து டெவலப் பண்ணுறது ஃபோக்கஸ் இஸ் வெரி ஹாய் பட் நம்ம இடத்துல வந்து ஒரு தூர நோக்கு இருந்துச்சுன்னா நிச்சயமாக வந்து ஐ திங்க் சிக்கி கேன் ஒர்க் வித் த மலேசியன் அசோசியேட்டட் இந்தியன் சேம்பர் மைக்கி ஆர் ஈவன் வித் அ நேஷனல் சேம்பர் the president of the national chamber sits with me on the committee advising the king so it's possible to do that well, look forward to your uh, efforts there dr pal and if uh, we sure. can we can increase the connect between the chambers and hence take it to industry as well and if we can make sure that this r and d collaboration exists then certainly we yeah, can yeah. Uh, take that forth our Absolutely. next uh, uh, question in this section is uh, from another of our committee members Mr SM Shankar who's chair of our food and nutrition committee would uh, yes, ask you a question Mr Shankar can i request you to please go ahead yeah good evening sir good evening you're not very audible you'll have to speak a bit louder am i audible clear to you slightly inna konjam increase panna mudiyuma yeah hope i'm audible to you now yeah much better please go ahead 
வணக்கம் டாக்டர் பாலன் அவர்களே வணக்கம்ங்க வணக்கம் வணக்கம் மலேசியா வந்தாவே எங்களுக்கு வந்து ஒரு செகண்ட் ஹோம் அண்ட் யூனோ ஆமா அதுல வந்து என்னன்னா மெயினா வந்து எங்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்சது மலேசியானாவே வந்து ஒரு வெஸ்டர்ன் கம்ஃப் வித் இந்தியன் கல்ச்சர் அப்படின்ற ஒரு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் நான் மலேசியா வந்தப்போ காயின் பண்ண டெர்மினாலஜி உலகப்புறத்தினால நம்ம இந்த வெஸ்டர்ன் கம்ஃபர்ட்டோட பிளஸ் இந்தியன் கல்ச்சரோட கிடைக்கிற ஒரே நாடுன்னா அது மலேசியா தான் ஸோ இட்ஸ் ரியலி ஹாப்பி எப்போ வந்தாலும் மலேசியா தான் எங்களுக்கு மகிழ்ச்சி ஸோ என்னுடைய கேள்வி என்னன்னா இந்தியால இருந்து பெரும்போது வரவங்க இந்தியன்ஸ் எல்லாமே வந்து தே உட் லைக் டு விசிட் பத்து கேவ்ஸ் அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஒன் ஆஃப் த மேஜர் சென்டர்ஸ் அட்ராக்ஷனா இருக்கு ஸோ வாட் ஆர் யோர் சஜஷன்ஸ் டு ஹென்ஸ் அ ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் அண்ட் கல்ச்சரல் டூரிசம் இன் தமிழ்நாடு ஃபார் மலேசியன் இந்தியன் ஐ திங்க் டூ திங்ஸ் ஒன்று வந்து அனைவரும் இங்கே வர்றவங்க எல்லோரும் பத்து கேஸ் போவாங்க இல்லைன்னா பெனாயிங்கில் தண்ணீர் மலையான் கோயில் போவாங்க பத்து கே தைப்பூசம் பார்ப்பாங்க ஸோ ஐ திங்க் தேட்ஸ் அ நார்மல் எல்லோருக்குமே வந்து அது ஒரு நடைமுறையாக வந்துட்டுது பிகாஸ் எனிபடி ஹூ கம்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தமிழ்நாடு தே டூ தீஸ் திங்ஸ் பட் தேர் இஸ் மச் மோர் தட் மலேசியா கேன் ஆஃபர் இல்லைன்னா வந்து தேர் கோ டு கெந்திங் ஐலண்ட்ஸ் but i think there's a lot more in malaysia you got mount kinabalu you got the caves in sarawak so there's a long history and there many things but we need to do other things because selanena vande nanbargal varuvaanga tamil nadu la irundhe avangalta i used to tell them why don't you go and see this historical site appadina illenga nanga batu caves pono tannir malayan koil pono and so it's very focused spiritual and uh, so i think there's a lot of exchange that's possible um i'm not sure how many of you know of air asia air asia ngra vimana seva vande or malivu vilaila vande avanga tickets kudukakoodiya or vimana seva and nan pala aandugala nenichite irukirathu kollalampurla nindu tiruchikku alladhu madurai alladhu coimbatore ku flight pona evlo udavi a irukum why should it only go to chennai because if it goes to chennai then people struggle to go matra matra urugalukku poradhu sarama paduvanga so it finally happened uh, so odadava nan vandha and vimana seveyila vandhu kerala lende tiruchikku kaalile sendirundha poludhu all of a sudden i found there were six malays in the natavar malaikarargal muslims they were flying and they said kerala to tiruchi vandhu we managed to get a ticket for 500 rupees 500 rupees ki kedachathu உங்களுக்கு பஸ் டிக்கெட் சென்னையில இருந்து திருச்சி ஐநூறு ரூபா இருக்கும் நினைக்கிறேன் அவங்களுக்கு வந்து ஐநூறு ரூபாய்க்கு திருச்சி அண்ட் திருச்சி டு கேஎல் பேக் வாஸ் அனதர் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஒன் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் கம் இந்தியாவுக்கு வந்து தெரியல ஸோ ஐ ஆஸ் தேம் அண்ட் ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் தே சாமி அந்த ஃபிளைட் ஸோ தே கேம் வித் மீ அண்ட் தே செட் கொஞ்சம் ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுங்க அந்த டாக்ஸி மட்டும் வந்துருதான்னு பார்த்துருவோம் வந்தோன்னு நீங்கள் எங்களை ஏற்றிட்டு நம்பரை மட்டும் குறிச்சிக்கோங்க டெக்ஸி நம்பரை ஜஸ்ட் இன் கேஸ் ஸோ ஐ ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்டார்ட் அட் டாக்கிங் டு தேம் அண்ட் தென் ஐ செட் வாய் ஆர் யூ கமிங் டு ட்ரிச்சி ஆஃப் ஆல் பீப்புள் பீப்புள் கோ டு பெங்களூர் பீப்புள் கோ டு தாஜ்மஹால் யூனோ பீப்புள் கோ டு தோஸ் திங்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் லைக் வி ஃபைன் பீப்புள் இன் தமிழ்நாடு இங்கே பத்து கேவ்ஸ் அண்ட் and uh, tanir malayan tap then it was interesting what they said they said in that belt tanjavur mayavaram kadalur <coughs> there are a lot of nagur nagapatnam there are a lot of mosques which has got a historical line and they were just going to say that so six people staying there for two weeks irandu varangalukku padinai nan they stay in the best hotels they had the best cars can you just imagine how much of tourism income and the sutrala nala varindra varumanam and is amazing so i always say it's possibly cheaper for someone from tamil nadu or someone from kolam lumpur to visit one another delhi ki pona kuda atrichi lene delhi ki poi varadukulla i think it cost you about 20000 rupees inge vande 500 rupees la vandirala so i also say tell people in malaysia Uh, it's cheaper for you to go to india rather than to go to kk or kuching as well and that's why there's tremendous tourism and i think that's something we should build on shankar we now move on to the third uh, section of uh, today's program sure. on career path dr sure. palan ninga vande naalu continents la padichirukinga you studied sure. in india of course chennai uh, in chennai you studied in the uk you studied in the us yeah. and also in australia where sure. do you feel your true learning happened and also in that context 
யூ ஹேட் முதல்ல ஒரு டாக்டராக இருக்கணும்னு நீங்கள் விருப்பப்பட்டீங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் ஒரு நடிகராக இருக்கணும்னு நீங்கள் யோசிச்சிங்க பட் யூ என் அப் டூவிங் சைக்காலஜி அண்ட் அண்ட் யுவர் அண்ட் எஜுகேஷனஸ் யுவர் ஹெச்ஆர் ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் அட் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் டைம் தேர் மஸ்ட் பி அட் லாட் ஆஃப் தேர் மஸ்ட் பி அ லாட் ஆஃப் யங்ஸ்டர்ஸ் டுடே ஹூ ஹேவ் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அப்ரோச் வேர் தேர் வாண்ட் டு டூ சம்திங் பட் என் அப் சம்வேர் எல்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் தே லூஸ் தேர் பார்ட்ஸ் இன் த கோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைம் வாட்ஸ் யுவர் அட்வைஸ் டு தேம் ஐ திங்க் ஜஸ்ட் ட்ரை அவுட் பிகாஸ் யூ நோ ஒரு இளமையான வயதுல வந்து ஐ திங்க் வி மஸ்ட் ட்ரை அவுட் என்னென்ன நம்மளால முடியுமோ எல்லாத்துலயும் முயற்சி பண்ணணும் ஐ ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் டு பி அ டாக்டர் நான் ஐ டோன்ட் நோ ஐ வாண்ட் டு பி அ டாக்டர் எனக்கு டாக்டருக்குள்ள பொறுமை இருந்திருக்குமான்னு எனக்கு தெரியல பட் பட் சம்டைம்ஸ் ஐ ஜெஸ்டி என்னுடைய ஆட்சி ஒருத்தங்க சிஸ்டர்ஸ் வந்து அவங்க டாக்டரா இருக்காங்க ஷி ஹேஸ் அ லாட் மோர் பேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ ஹேவ் சம் ஆஃப் த டாக்டர்ஸ் who are there but i couldn't so i studied a bachelor's in chemistry now why did i study chemistry because i thought that was the easiest to get a degree and uh, just come and do something uh, the next year when i wanted to become a doctor my father died so selanero and we just say valka and makes decisions for you sometimes but that's a rainbow chaser if only so you want to be a rainbow creator so i said okay let me go and do something so when i went to this old building this old building unfortunately is not there if uh, i had my choice i would have preserved it as a heritage site it was a complete opening na modan modalla vande chennai ki vanda poludhu malaysia la vande chennai ki vanda poludhu i still remember on the horse on the auto rickshaw vade and the pam 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 nu irukum and the cars that was my memory of chennai so when i went to the school of social work it was seeing one level of people Uh, but you see you learn everywhere now in malaysia la padichu the padicha bodu there was a english teacher an english lady who taught me multiplication tables avanga solluvanga 16 times 16 what's its sanumanga 256 and ninga sollalena avan the ruler vechika ready panga so i learned time table but she made it so fun and that's when i learned it so then when i went to harvard i had a shock of my life because everyone in harvard was smarter than you they were possibly richer than you they came some, from some great families but if let's say they were not rich they compensated it with education so and yeah, what i learned in harvard was a, a, a complete urumatram nu solran it's a transformation adukku tamil la vandha vaartha vandu urumatram nu solluva the transformation was i had to compete with the world's best திறமையை கண்டு பயந்து ஓட முடியாத ஒரு சூழ்நிலை திறமையோட நம்ம போட்டி போடக்கூடிய பக்குவத்தை வளர்த்து கொள்ள வேண்டிய சூழ்நிலை தான் ஐ லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் ஹார்வர் அண்ட் தட் சம்திங் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் ஆஸ்திரேலியா வாஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஸ்திரேலியா வாஸ் தேர்ஸ் ஆல்சோ லைஃப் யூ நீட் டு லேர்ன் ஸ்விம்மிங் யூ நீட் டு லேர்ன் டு பிளே கிரிக்கெட் யூ நீட் டு லேர்ன் அதர் திங்ஸ் இட்ஸ் நாட் ஜஸ்ட் அபவுட் யூர் புக்ஸ் ஸோ ஈச் பிளேஸ் gave me an opportunity to learn and i think it's important but there's one one thing i learned in campaign high school trichy and your mrs samuel no or vaadiyar avanga na tamil la thirukural solli kodupanga or vaarathukku 10 kural enna solli kodupanga enak ellame marandutan but i still remember one which is katka kasadar katpavai katruvin nitka adarkathaga now ninga vandu values pathi kelvi kettinga why is a business cost nu kettinga he says karka learning you learn everywhere number 2 he says kasadarka immersive learning namma vandu enna padichalum adula vandu namma vandu you have to be completely immersed and adula moolgano and number 3 he said katra pen after learning what do you do he says nitka stand stand by what you learned adarka thaga you live by your values so you are in business you learn so you learn at every opportunity and you have to use that learning because otherwise it's useless and i think um, that's something that i think is important i never regretted i'm not a doctor because today i employ 250 doctors in a in a university i train 1100 doctors i train uh, i train uh, what 500 pharmacists i train uh, 600 nurses we now are going to go into a hospital Uh, which i may not be able to run but my children will run we got a 288 bed hospital with the nine specialities so you know life life takes you on a journey but it's faith it's belief 
I don't know. I think uh, maybe I have also asked some of my uh, uh, siblings and others to come on the uh, evening. But when my father died, I didn't know what life is going to have for me. Yeah, and so I see many young people. Nariya peri langa na under ke panga. Doctor Palan adithe na seya pora na teri le. I said no, no. Just do what you want to do, and life will take care of its own course. And so I sometimes I remember and I get very frightened, and I tell my wife, even if we wanted to buy this house today, we can't afford it, uh, because that's the way it is. You bought it some thirty years ago for a price, unbelievable price. You took a decision, so I think that's important. Before we go to our uh, next question, we'd like to recognize the presence of our President Emeritus, Dr. A.C. Muthaya, for having joined this call today. We appreciate Thank his presence. You. We uh, are I must tell you a little story. I met him many years ago with a very famous lawyer called A.C. Mutanda. My father took me and my mother's uncle, A. Nagapachetia, was uh, a great friend of his uh, father. So I met him. There's only one thing I remembered when I saw President Amirish A.C. Mutanda. God must have made him and God was very happy. He was so handsome, you know. I remember that all the time. I'm sure he'd like to hear that. Point. <laughs> I'm sure he's smiling as well. Our next Thank speaker you. for today from the audience is another student. Uh, he's uh, Mr. Pramod Reddy. He's doing his final year MBBS at MMC. Pramod, uh, if you're online, please go ahead. Hmm. His connection is poor. Yeah, yeah. I think, and maybe he's muted. So maybe you should get off the video and then go ahead. Yes, My question to the speaker is: Thirty thousand doctors in Malaysia are educated in India. Is there any opportunity for medical tourism into Tamil Nadu? I would like to hear it from you, sir. Uh, yeah, there are. There's a very big um, alumni of Madras Medical College, Stanley Medical College. Uh, medical tourism is always possible, but it's all about competing costs, facilities. I think Apollo Hospitals has tried it, and I think uh, MGM in Chennai, I think they are also trying to get into medical tourism. Uh, yes, Promo, it's a possibility, definitely, but it's about uh, costs, it's about facilities, it's about the doctor himself, because sometimes Doctors are very famous, so people go specifically, like Dr. David Shetty in Bangalore. People go specifically to him, and then you build a practice over a year, uh, over a period of time. Yeah. Thank you, Pramod. Dr. Palan, you are in the the I don't think it's a short while. My target was when I started, I couldn't do it. And as I get older, I'm slowing down. So the last between 10 to 20, I only wrote two books, but before that I wrote 14 books. Um, so I think I have done a lot of work. I think I have done a lot of work. And I have done a golf play, cricket play. I have done a lot of work. So I will just keep writing. It has become replaced by WhatsApp. So I take a little bit longer to write in Tamil, but in English, yes, I write. I just love it. Yeah. So in the Anabong, a decade ago, you had wanted to retire three decades prior to that. 
However, you are still on your entrepreneurial uh, journey. Ninglo Solir Kringa quote I do not see a finish line for me as I keep learning and evolving with the changing time. Unquote. Do you feel that today's entrepreneurs are not evolving as much as they need to? Do you feel that they are uh, stagnating? I, I, think, uh, I think it's important to evolve, Arun, because. You know, or uh, Yerathala or Napa I was a trainer, HR specialist, but I'm no more in that domain because you know there are other people who are far better than me. But I evolved that later on into an entrepreneur, into an educator, and I keep changing. So the most important thing, Arun, and the Varadangal order order, Matrangal I eat the order we have to evolve. Now, I'm convinced today. That the young people in my organization but i have got something to contribute the contribution could be in a very specific area of governance or in a specific area of strategy or in terms of networking there are certain areas but i will have to let go certain things i can't be in operations because uh, I am I'm not relevant in that context. There are younger people. So I'm very particular about succession planning. In a pathing in our own a study, I think from the uh, school, uh, the Kellogg School, they say family businesses don't go beyond four generations. And if you go beyond four generations, it's a success. The second generation 50% stay, the third generation 30, fourth generation 5%, and so on. Now, the whole idea is uh, how do you evolve? And I think that's about letting go certain things and doing new things. So, we have to just let go because other one that doesn't fit me, I can do something else. And I think that's the whole idea of evolving. I wanted to retire 40 years ago, 35 years ago, because I thought I could sell a company and I could go and do something. But now I don't I don't think I can do that because I probably once I hand over the business, I always believe politicians particularly and business people, we must all gracefully ride into the sunset. And so I told my children, both my young boys, I told them that, look, I will gracefully ride into the sunset. Maybe I'll just have a board position, but I will probably go and teach in the university. Maybe write another book, maybe do charity, do branding, do networking, do other things rather than operation. So I think that involvement is very important, evolving. I don't think I'll have a finish line, Arun. I probably think uh, when I go, I'll be probably writing or I'll be doing something. That's uh, extremely nice to hear uh, that you have to keep your uh, mind and body active no matter what. Age is just a number. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. We now move on to the fourth section, which is uh, your inputs for the next generation. It is also brought in your commitment to philanthropy. Uh, but Yellarko in the Anubo Irikra the Bay Lam Erikala. And in the Anubo on the business schools Lindo Katak Muria. Where do you think uh, such youngsters will be able to learn if they do not have the kind of examples that you have quoted? Uh, I, I I sometimes get very surprised. Tamil Nadu no day, Tholil Nadu people no day. I mean, sir, that's the part thing. And I don't think they went into any Harvard Business School or Massachusetts. I think I got a slide which I like to. I like you to just bring that slide up of my my mother's uncle. My that's our next uncle. point. Uh... Dr. Yeah. We, we bring it okay. up in the next one. And if you actually look at their vision, mm -hmm. they had this fantastic uh, vision to do something. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's very important. And then as they evolved, they wanted to contribute to arts. So or Tamil Mandra Aramikira there. Or they wanted to contribute to religion or Anmigata Valarkano. Or they said, look, let me go and give back to society. In Warren Buffett gives back to society. 
Bill Gates gives back to society. But let's look at Tamil Nadu and see how many people have given back to society. And to me, I think the most important thing, philanthropy, Arun, is giving back to society, which I learned from my role models. For Munu Unless we need examples, you know, and and I think young people today, you need to have your role models. It doesn't have to be Sachin Tendulkar and Sunil Gavaskar alone. It can also be people from other domains in life. It could be an A.R. Rahman who's a role model. It could be an M.S. Vesbanathan who could be a role model. It could be a Sivaji Ganesan in acting for young people who can be a role model. And in business, it could be uh, Raja Sarmatya Chetya or the Murugappa group or GT Naidu or the TVS family. You know, we need role models and the Mun Udharana. And the Moon Madri examples are very important to me. I'm always very, very motivated by the examples that I admire in my life. Mm -hmm. Dr. Palan, you said that the Nagarathar community has many entrepreneurs. Uh, and angal, kulle, they provide uh, mutual, they have a kind of a mutual su support network. And uh, that in turn assists them to come out of uh, difficulties. Do you feel sure. that this system still exists today? Uh, it probably lost a little bit because Nagaratars went away from entrepreneur into employment largely. And this is one more thing that I say, it just goes off into a certain lifestyle. And I think it's important that when, of course, you see uh, Mr. A. Nagapachetia, who was uh, my mother's uncle, and he was, uh, I just realized from your slides that he was also past president of Siki co-founder of India Leather Corporation. I always look at him as a role model. I always look at him as a role model because even uh, now and all these people that you talk about today, uh, whether it's in textiles or whether it's in automobile uh, TVS or whether it is in banking industry, the Indian bank or the Indian overseas bank, because I don't think most of them had a great education or But when I saw this picture, I said, look, he's able to shake hands with the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth's husband in the 1950s. And he was a role model because he could take the leather industry and he could go in and export Indian leather to all around the world. And if you take TV Sundaram, TVS, and you could see the creation of the automobile industry. If you take, let's say, the textile industry, we had people who created it. Manufacturing, we had people who created it. Or even for that matter, if you take uh, the old Ambani who went into the industry chemicals, I think there were so many examples. And I talked from Malaysia. Air Asia was created by one man, Tony Fernandez. And Tony Fernandez, but he had that vision and the Duran of Garanda. So he just wanted to come and start off a low cost airline. He only had, uh, he was only renting two planes and he had about 200 people. And then at one point, he had 30,000 people working for him and he had something like 250 planes. He created an entire township. So just imagine, he was able to create an entire industry. And look at the satellite industry was able to create amazing stories. And that's what I think it's all about. It. I think you have an example. You have a role model, you have a vision, you have the determination, and you go out there. Now, look, not everybody can become uh, Indian Bank, Indian Overseas Bank, or India Leather, or Murugappa Group, or TVS, or GT Naidu, or not everybody can become Suguna Chicken, or whatever it is. But look, we can all become in our own ways. And I think, Arun, you know, in your 400 members in Sikhi, 
you probably have people who employ 500 people, 300 people, 100 people who make a huge contribution. So I think the important thing for us is to just see how do we find that network within one another and then how do we pursue the dreams? Your advice to youngsters, Dr. Palin, has been, quote, making money is secondary, but following your dreams is primary because when you follow your dreams, you will find that money will follow you, unquote. Do you feel that this uh, practice is uh, there today? Do you feel that mentors and uh, parents advise this? If not, how do you think we should inculcate this within our culture? <clears throat> you know, uh, I just recently read a book, and I think uh, this is the book I'll show you this. It's called The Rain. And uh, it's a very, very interesting book, uh, Arun. And what happens is, uh, Tiger Woods, one day, he became the golfing legend. I think he was the youngest master's champion, whatever. And uh, if you take someone like uh, Roger Federer, the great tennis champion, he became a great champion as well. But the important thing is, for us to understand that their parents did not force upon something in them. And and the Kartita and then the three idiots, that movie it came out very well in Hindi and in Tamil, it came as something else, Nanban or something. We have to allow the children to follow their passion and follow their heart. Because otherwise they do something because you have told them to do. And many a time, and on the universal Patrika, people will come to study medicine and then after a while they'll drop out or after they become doctors, they drop out. And when I ask them why, they say, that's not what I wanted to be. That's what my parents wanted to be. And that's the challenge that we have today. <clears throat> and among the Indian community, and I think in the Tamil community, we also have a problem. We decide that if someone works for an American MNC, then it's easier to get them married. And therefore we say, hey, look, get employed first, and then we will see whether you get into business. You know, and unfortunately, we are creating a culture and we are creating a system where it's better to work rather than go into business. So to me, I, all I say is in the book, he says match quality. You find the perfect match when you have tried out a few things. Let's keep the mind open. It's like a parachute. It only functions when it's open. If it doesn't open, then you are going to crash and the consequences are going to be terrible. So we must encourage children to follow through. Not that we don't give them opportunities. If they want to go and learn singing, let them try singing. If they want to play tennis, if they like cricket, and at one time they will find their match quality and this is what I like. And then we pursue it and allow the kids to actually follow their dreams because it's their life and they got to live their life. And that's what Steve Jobs said. It's your life. We now move on to the, the last section of our uh, discussion, Dr. Palin, your input sure. for uh, society. Sure. One of the points that, uh, or one of the areas, or one of the topics, I might say, that has been uh, raising its ugly self is uh, that of sexual harassment in uh, schools and colleges. It's been very uh, flabbergasting to, to hear and read about what is uh, happening how much of this is true or how much of it is, is false. But still, the, the very thought of something like this co coming up makes you think that there cannot be uh, fire without there being some smoke around. Um, so uh, what do you think uh, needs to be done in order to be able to eliminate this uh, plague if, it, if at all it exists? And how do we address it so that our, our children are protected going forward? I I. I, I won't uh, I won't profess to be an expert. I think uh, it's a frightening scenario. It exists. Sexual harassment is a is a matter of fact. It happens at work. It happens in uh, 
colleges, it happens in schools. And I've been following something in the Tamil Nadu news about what happened in a school. I've seen that recently uh, in Malaysia, what a coach did to a student. It's a problem. It's a challenge. I can only talk about three things, I think. One, I think education. I think we need to number one say education. Uh, sometimes when this is and I think we need to basically educate people this is right and this is wrong. And I think that's very important. And we also have to look after mental health. Mental health, on the, sometimes people have problems. I think they have inferiority complex. They feel rejected. So all kinds of challenges come about there. And I think schools, colleges, workplace, HR, uh, we have to take care to see that we identify mental health issues and coach. Last but not the least, I think Rombo Mukhyamana Venana, there must be consequences. If people can get away with it, so you know, many years ago I saw something that happened in uh, in one of the districts in India. And uh, because there are people who try to justify and say that's because of this, because of this. There's no such thing. What's happened has happened. Now we want to know why is it happened and we have to make sure it should never happen again. You know, it should never happen again. Yeah. And I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Our uh, next question is from. Mr. Ratanvel Rajan, he is the chair of our uh, co chair of our HR uh, committee. Mr. Rajan, can I request you to please go ahead? Thank you. Thank you, sir, for this opportunity to ask Kustin. And it's a dream to ask uh, Chapalan because I'm following sure. decades and uh, I'm one of your followers, sir. Actually, I, I had been to in the ISTD conference at person. So, what's uh, your name, sir? Ratanvel Rajan, sir. Okay, thank you. Sir. I'm the country HR expert for a company called Ball Corporation, and I'm the okay. uh, co chair for the uh, HR expert committee of Siki. Nandri, yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. So now, I'm going to say that i always uh, stand for the cause, okay? And uh, but when, when, when you need to stand for a cause, um, uh, but you no, know, the common folks, when they always they have the fear, they always. Uh, uh, have the fear in the mind. Nama in the retaliation to come in the America Mudio of Dinra or wishing the mind of it. So, or Nermiana wishing Lukaso on the Tunin the Nikra, the core common man in the world, the Kumakana Karname, only a family pressure and the social pressure. So, either in the value over the societal or impact create under the Epi Unglodia Alosin in a certain. அதாவது தவறுன்னு ஒன்னு நடக்கின்ற பொழுது நம்ம வந்து ಅದருக்கு அத வந்து நம்ம வந்து ஏத்து நிக்கலேனா इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम அத வந்து ஒரு ஆங்கிலத்துல ஒரு சொல் இருக்குது the world was in trouble not because the bad people created difficulties but it's because the good people never said anything the good people never said anything and therefore things happen நீங்க வந்து நீங்க தமிழ்நாட்டுல வந்து ஒரு and the you were fighting for Manjiritika fight Yeah, you wanted to fight. Uh, and uh, over a period of time, I think Palalacha Makal on the Marina Kadakarela Vandanga. Vandu Vande, either Vande Nama, this is part of the culture, either Vande Nama remove Panamale. So, what did you do? You built a coalition. Most of the time, Tani Nabara Yedikradangrade Vande or Bayamana or Bishena, Karana Menavanda, Adanode, believe it in and Makateria. You could be sacked. And then maybe after being sacked, Ningapoy Algopora, or I in the under Kaditu Tripi Mulkavala or Radicula, they will paint you a picture that you are a difficult person and you may not get another job. 
So obviously, it's easier to fight when you build a coalition. Or a kutaniya urua ki, and the kutaniya orda nama bande porad namna. It's easier to find or win the battle, and I think that's the most important thing. Tani nabar porad tangal bande is always a challenging situation because nama bande in the orda thala bande tani nabar ayenga mudiya the. And or a Munna Lamacher or Tirundar Malaysia Lavarna Solar, you must understand the power dimension, how power works. There's no point in me going and fighting headlong and becomes useless. You know, on the Malcolm Gladwell or Angela Elital and our own, the David and Goliath or Pusta Elder Parik. Adela Solar, Goliath was this giant, but David was this little boy. And our end up on an he strategized and he fought the game. He used a sling. Whereas our one day, Goliath was all in his armor and he could only see in one direction. And there's only one way to hit him. He had to hit him right on the spot. And David did that. So, Namadodaya strength and Namadodaya power and Namadu or Arabakanama. We have to work smart, otherwise, I think it's going to be a disaster. So understand the power dimension, build a coalition or kutani amachite, then namalode bala purinjite, then we'll have to play the game that way. I hope I answered the question, sir. Dr. Palan, we now come to uh, the last uh, question. Uh, due to sure. time, I think we might have to uh, 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 to uh, overlook one or two questions, we thought we'd That's ask okay. this final one. Quite a lot of sure. uh, the, the points that we've uh, raised today have been based on your working and uh, your your quotes as well. So this one too is based on your quote. You've said, uh, uh, quote, your individual self-improvement is uh, societal development, unquote. Can you elaborate on this? Yeah, I always believe that when individuals change, society changes. Otherwise, it's not going to be possible. morning, I listened to something on YouTube. Tamil Nadu parabala pechalar sugi And he was just quoting a simple or udarna He was talking about Ungalode uh, Munnal Mudala Mecher Kamaraj and. Uh, um, See Subramani Mangala, Uriadi Konda, Venkatraman Mangala, and the Uriadi Konda the Kendra or Sundale. Upon the Yempa, Yem, why can't we get this done? Up in our Kaker and Kamrad. One Alagona or Soldare, Venkatraman Soldare, Ilanga, at the Kilmata, the Ariel Pesi Trukanga, other Kapra on the other Chief Secretary level of Koro, other Kapra on the Cabinet of Koro, other Kapra, it'll come to us. And immediately, uh, Kamarad says, look, what's the problem? And then they call uh, Namburudhi part and they finalize it. So the answer is that we are setting a new standard. So when an individual, when Kamaraj did that, then the next time a Namburudhi part on the Kerala Mudal was saying, he also changed. So obviously when individuals change and this story goes around, people start following it. So when individuals change in one, each individual changes and it becomes larger and larger and larger than society changes. Otherwise, when individual development never takes place, then Samudaya Matram Bharadikavandi very rare. You know, it's virtually impossible for change to come. Change can only come when individuals become groups, groups become communities, and communities become societies, societies become nations, nations become the global practice. And only then I think we can actually bring about change. So a lot of times people talk about change. And to me, I I think so, like for example, you talk about Tadupusi vaccination border there. It's just crazy. Medical students don't want to vaccinate. So, what thing is that? And the Tolai people are like phone banana. Get that? Then, sir, you know, and the Tadupusi put it. Lama vaccinate. Panna lama. Why? 
போட்டா வந்து பத்து வருஷத்துல வந்து நர்வஸ் டிசீஸ் வந்துடும்னு சொல்றாங்களேன்னு சொன்னாங்க நான் சொன்ன நாளைக்கு நீங்க இருக்க போறீங்களான்னு தெரியல பத்து வருஷத்துக்கு அப்புறம் பாப்போம் உங்களுக்கு வயசு இப்ப எழுபத்தஞ்சு ஆச்சு இன்னும் பத்து வருஷம் இருந்தா எண்பத்தஞ்சு போய் முதல்ல போடுங்க அப்படின்னு சொன்னேன் அதர்வைஸ் பீப்புள் டோன்ட் சம்டைம்ஸ் பீப்புள் கால் மீ அண்ட் ஆஸ்க் மீ அண்ட் சே ஓ தடுப்பூசி போட்ட என்னங்க ஆகும் based on scientific evidence we have to trust the data namakku or nambike irukono and nambike vechittu nam porom we can't talk about what happened in china what happened in america what happened in the pharmaceutical companies it's beyond us what we know and what we don't know and we take a decision and we go so i think to me the important thing is societies change when individuals change and i think just remember in life and in history varalara paapom walkaye paapom mahatma gandhi started off as a one man to get independence and sila nerangala na padikumbodhu sila nerangala naane viyandu porudaru nanda இங்க இருக்கிற அன்பர்களுக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் நான் சொல்லிக் கொள்றது ஓன்லி ஃபோர்டி தௌசண்ட் பிரிட்டிஷர்ஸ் இன் இந்தியா நாற்பதாயிரம் பேர் தான் இருந்தாங்க ஆனா தே வர் கண்ட்ரோலிங் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் மில்லியன் இந்தியன்ஸ் அண்ட் சம்டைம்ஸ் ஐ டோன்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அண்ட் த சேம் திங் நீங்க வந்து ஆப்பிரிக்கா சவுத் ஆப்பிரிக்கா போனீங்கன்னா நெல்சன் மண்டேல ஒன் மேன் ஜஸ்ட் ஒன் மேன் but you know by the time he could bring about the change the man had to completely sacrifice his life he spent 26 years in robben island but you know the the people who were running the government were a minority but they were able to control a majority through fear through challenges so to me i think we need that one mahatma gandhi we need that one nelson mandela we need that one kamaraj or we need one uh, and now uh, we need that one person uh, fidel ramos in uh, philippine that one person somewhere whoever it is but we're talking about leaders why can't it be an ordinary person in a village doing something extraordinary <coughs> and adhuga mukyam because we we can't always find you know in a in a land of 500 people 500 million people we found one gandhi and so on but you know in a population of 500 people we can find one person to bring about that change who can be sane rational and talk sense and that's what i mean by that arun thank you very much uh, dr palan it's been an hour and 15 minutes of our uh, discussion and it's uh, been uh, very interesting uh, talking with you and uh, sharing your uh, and hearing from you about your thoughts I appreciate the time and uh, and the patience that you spent with us in uh, my pleasure my pleasure romba nandri ninga ellarum vandu inge vandu whatever i wanted to say adukku ninga ungalude kaadu kuduthu ninga kettadukku mikka nandri i know that i would like to inform you uh, dr palan uh, number one is as part of the sikki 360 uh, series we always uh, have our guest autograph their uh, photograph so we would like you to uh, autograph your uh, photograph we will send this to you in the course of time and sure. once you receive it we look forward to you autographing it and dating it as well with today's date so that sure. we can maintain it with our uh, records the second thing is that uh, as a token of our appreciation we certainly appreciate your presence with us uh, today as sure. a token of your appreciation again as uh, coming along with the newness of sikki 360 we have started this uh, 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 this exercise of uh, contributing to a worthy cause Uh, there is what is known sure. as the kanchi kamakoti child trust hospital in chennai sure. and uh, this uh, is a is a pediatric hospital that focuses on uh, underprivileged families children coming from such underprivileged families sure. so we were, we are contributing in your name dr palan to this uh, particular noteworthy uh, noteworthy cause to so that it can fund uh, a child's uh, medical expenses again the certificate we will have it signed uh once uh, the lockdown is lifted and then we will have this uh, sent to you uh this again is a, is a new initiative that we have started uh, along with sikki 360 definitely yeah. appreciate you are uh, joining us uh, today and uh, thank you very much for your time thank you very much and if there's anything i could do in malaysia uh, just uh, reach out and uh, let me know if there is any un- underprivileged deserving child who wants a scholarship let me know if there are any business partnerships you want to pursue to the best of my ability i'll connect the key members to the people in power or decision making
Mika, Mika, Nandri. We Thank certainly so look much. forward to that, uh, uh, Dr. Palan, and uh, we will be in touch with you. Friends, before we sign off, a few more words. I would like to uh, share with you a few more slides for your reference. And number one is I would like to take the opportunity to thank for today's session, Mr. Saravanan Kartikeyan. He's the Council General of uh, Malaysia in Chennai. Uh, we, are, we are very thankful to him for uh, putting us in touch with Dr. Palan. We would also like to thank our event uh, sponsor, Sri City. We are glad that uh, they are uh, working along with the Siki 360 series and uh, continuing to bring such value added programs to you. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Siki 360 committee. This uh, committee is led by uh, Mrs. Valli Arun, who is the president of the Wellingborough Group and trustee of the Tamilisai uh, Sangam. The co chair of this committee is Professor T. Murugavel. He is head of the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences at SBC Chennai. He is in charge of putting together our discussion points, uh, getting to know our, our guests, mm -hmm. and making sure that each one of the points that we bring up are of value to our uh, audience. Uh, we, this committee also has Mr. Vinod Solomon and his, uh, and his uh, team at the Sikhi Secretariat, who have been doing a wonderful job. Uh, we have Mr. Gokul Santanam, who uh, who's the Senior Vice President at, at Emphasis. He is responsible for the marketing collateral and uh, marketing uh, initiatives that uh, we do for Sikhi 360. We have Mr. Amalan Alavandar, who's an environment consultant at the Asian Development Bank, and uh, he takes care of moderating the uh, events that uh, moderating the questions that come to us through our online chat and and feeding it to us. We have Ms. Vilasni uh, uh, Meenakshi Arun. She's a student of clinical psychology and brings in the uh, student perspective into <laughs> our uh, programs. Again, certainly appreciate this committee for uh, the work that they've done. We've had so far, including today, nine very very. Uh, worthwhile sessions with worthwhile uh, speakers and, and we look forward to the coming months of uh, speakers as well that we have lined up. Let me take this opportunity to share with you that uh, Siki 360 session 10 is uh, already uh, scheduled. It's with Dr. Pratap C. Reddy. He's the founder and chairman of Apollo Hospitals that most of you would be aware. We are glad that he has confirmed to join us. This event is scheduled for uh, Friday, the 23rd of July at 4.30 p.m. It's going to be held, of course, on our online WebEx uh, platform. We are still not sure whether there might be a small audience uh, on site. <coughs> That's still in discussion, but uh, certainly this will be telecast online. So please mark your calendars and, and join us for that. This brings us to the end of today's uh, program. Thank you very much uh, for uh, joining us, and we certainly look forward to your ongoing participation with us. Let me take this opportunity to wish each one of you safe times. And uh, please continue to follow the required precautions. And as also, and as Dr. Palan has also mentioned, getting vaccinated at the earliest is of uh, enormous uh, importance. Thank you very much, Nandri. Thank you. Thank you.